Hey, it's day 13 of nymphing in November. It's Friday the 13th, so, well, I think you can see the weather behind me. It's pretty intense. Anyways, hopefully it's not coming here. Um, I am going to fish my home waters right behind my house, and uh, hopefully I'll have some luck like I did the other day when we saw the, the single ram. So this isn't a day that I prefer to fish. Um, I'm going to show you why. So as I was saying, this would not be my ideal day. We've got weather coming. But worse than that, look at all the ice in the river. I don't like that. It shouldn't really change the outcome of the fishing. But um, it's been really cold and ice on the edges. I'm gonna to try to stay out of the water as much as I can today. I pulled this guy from out from underneath the ice shelf. It's a brown. But you saw that, right? Damn it. So, I gotta show you what I did. And, and I know, I should have cleats or something. So anyways, remember yesterday I talked about soft water. So, see this ice shelf? I ran that fly right along that, and that's where that brown was. He was hanging out in the soft water, where right below the, right beside the current, so he could easily come out and eat. But he'd be safe from overhead predators and not have to expend a lot of energy. So that's where he was. Let's see if there's more. Hey, you gotta check out my disco boots today. Look at that. Woohoo! Platforms. Okay, well, I had some luck here, but uh, I found that you catch one or two in this cold weather and you're done. So let's go up to the pool where I hooked a couple after I saw the ram. So damn it, that nice soft water where I picked up a couple of trout the day that had that single ram run by, it's iced over. That's the kind of soft water it is, but that's the water we're looking for. So I'm gonna try that little trick that I did downstream to see if I can't put my nymphs as close to that ice as I can and uh, just under it, hopefully something will dart out and eat my gunslinger, bang bang! But see all the ice in the water? I'm worried that it's gonna be get my line and make fishing difficult. I'm gonna be at the tires bench tomorrow, um, and Sunday too, I'm sure, and maybe back out on the river on Monday. But let's give this a try.
stuffing the camera down my shirt just like toilet paper before the prom. Okay, so. Damn bush. Anyways. Follow the orange dot. So we've got big current, nothing's gonna be out there. But then I'm hoping for the sweet spot along the ice. Yeah, you can see that. See that? How it's barely moving. That's where the fish are, even if they don't take any today. There it is. Underneath that ice. Come on, baby, come on! So that's where a fish would have taken if they were gonna cooperate. And that's how I caught that brown earlier today. I wanna give a big shout out to Tim Braley, who is our newest contributor to the Fly Fishing Waters website. If you have anything that you'd like to contribute, whether it be video, photos, uh, so you want to write about your favorite fishing destinations, we'd love to have you. Just send me an email. But if you like following along, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Instagram, uh, Facebook, and sign up for our bi-weekly uh, email blast that will have our latest articles uh, photos and videos. We try to do destinations or cool things this week. It's um, underwater photos of uh, brook trout and uh, an awesome fly fishing waters poem. So if you haven't subscribed, now's a good time. See you tomorrow at the tires bench.